Oh, thanks for tuning back in to Empire Total War. It's the Wallachia campaign. Uh, the Romanians have done extraordinarily well, if you look at what's going on here. We're in 1729, we got to 1750. There are four rounds, if you like, um, turns, if you like, per year. Um, so we've still got quite a long time left, and we're almost out of Europe. We're almost on the way into Asia. Uh, people who have been watching my campaign will realise that I now have... Uh, peace... Yes, they're hostile, but I've got peace with the Marathas. OK, so I've now blocked off that area, which is all that I wanted to do. So I now own this area here. And if you look around, I'm sorry about I'm repeating myself to a lot of people, but um, it's just a recap for myself as well, really, I suppose. If you go across there, right, there's that area there to cover. Not all the way, but across there. And there's a road that connects, right? Um, going down this way, there are all sorts of mountains, no roads. Well, there's a road going up to here. Anyway, the point I'm making is that if anybody's going to um, attack into deep into my territory, they're going to come this way, and I should be able to head them off either there or there. Um, and it's a place I can recruit from as well. So, OK, and he's got a long way to travel before he gets anywhere near, so I can keep an eye on him. Uh, unfortunately, the roads have been upgraded in here, um, which means that he will move pretty quickly along there. Anyway, never mind. Um, that's just the um, summary for everybody who's um, not been watching or somebody that's playing catch-up or somebody that simply wants a bit of a reminder before the video goes on. Right, now, thanks very much, first of all, to Dutch Delights for um, the reminder, or I'm not sure if it's a reminder because I didn't even know about it, pointing out, really, um, helping me out by mentioning that I'm getting explosive shells instead of quicklime shells, which is what I really want. Anybody that's watched my Empire Total War videos before will know I prefer the quicklime shells because they don't damage the walls. I know I've mentioned that before, but anyway, it's just following on from um, Dutch Delight's um, very helpful um, comment there because uh, that, that was important to me. There's no doubt about it. I don't want the rockets. Anyway, uh, the other thing I wanted to do in here was to uh, replenish my troops, particularly the infantry, if I can get away with it. Uh, I don't know how much money I've got left. On the last video I said, oh, I've got nothing left now. Ah, looks like that's it, actually. Is that it? Um, ah, I can do that one. That's it, isn't it? Um, right, okay. Well, I thought there'd be a little bit more to show than that. I wonder if I can do this one. Yes, I can. Okay, well, it gives me a few more men, doesn't it? So, I don't know if that... No, I was just thinking there's only one more to get in there, isn't there? So, well, yeah, one more. Three of those. Okay, no, I'm going on and on now, aren't I? So there's no point, really. That That's all I needed to do, because I've checked everywhere else. Okay, here we go. Um, uh, I'm not happy about the position. If you look at the, the bottom left-hand map there, okay, I've got a piece now with the Marathas, which means that, that um, I, I've just got that one border that I showed you a moment ago. So that's fairly secure. Um, the trouble is Europe... Um, uh, I've got all those sort of aggressive European, typical European nations around me, or typically aggressive European nations, I should say. Let's just speed this up a little bit, actually. There's a lot of video time there. So I've got quite a few sort of vulnerable areas there uh, in the sort of northwest areas of my Romanian Empire. Yes, I'll say that again. It's a Romanian Empire. Wow. OK. Uh, oh, who's this? Spain. Ah, now that's one of the worries. Um, you know, I'm talking about... I was talking about the northwest. Oh, crikey. I, I was thinking about the Italians becoming aggressive there. You see that area there? Well, just to the east of where you were looking at just then, that's my territory. Um, that's um, Venice, isn't it? So, um, anyway, it's a risky area. I left a nominal force in there, knowing that I was at war with the Italian states, staying at war with the Italian states as well, in order to pirate from their trade route. But, of course, it does mean that they'll have been building up resources, me ignoring them while attacking the Marathas, uh, so, but they may well go for my fortress, which is not a bad thing for me, because um, I think I've left a limited number of troops in there, or enough troops, or few enough troops, let's say, to invite an attack from him, so we should be able to beat him fairly easily, that's the thing. But now, of course, there's the Spanish as well, so it's going to be a sucker punch, isn't it? Right, agent recruited. Thank you. Where's that one, then? In here? Ah, right, OK. Well, I'll get him to attack one of these, then who are subverting my people. That's 26. How much is that one? That one is 11. Oh, crikey, I'm not going to go for that one. What's this one, then? Come on. Why? Oh, it's mine. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't think I'll go for that one there. <laughs> Let's go for this guy, um, because he, I've got more chance of hitting him than the other one, so 26%. He's a newbie. Oh, great. <laughs> he's a dead newbie. I was going to say he's a newbie, so he's lacking experience, but uh, yeah, okay. He's paid for that. Trading uh, agreement cancel wise, no surprise, I'm at war with him. Workers on strike, Persia. Ah, right, okay, I'll come round to those in a minute. What have we got here? Construction report. Ooh, thank you very much, very good. And in here, agent recruited. Yeah, that's the dead agent. Agent recruited and dutifully buried. Right. <laughs> now, um, what else did I want to do? Yes, um, over in Persia. I'm surprised at that, by the way, that, that, that result there saying that we're unhappy in Persia. I think it said Persia, didn't it? Um, because I actually want to get rid of um, some troops in here. I'm going to get rid of these because it's going to take them ages to get anywhere. Oops. We're happy in here, so I don't see the problem really. Can I disband those? Yes, I can, and they're perfectly happy. So, okay, maybe it's some, oh, I don't know, corrosive thing, something that's been happening over time that's been causing that problem. I really don't know, but um, uh, yeah, okay. Now, over in Baghdad, this is the place I'm most worried about. Um, because I've got a college in here that's that's researching some... Oh, there you go. Minus already. Oh, maybe this is the one. And in here as well. Look at that. It's going from 10 to 13. And I'm already on minus one. So it will improve. That minus one will go down each turn. Um, go down one each turn. But um, I've still got these to cope with. So I'm going to have to get some more troops in here. Let's get yet more dragoons in here. As many as I can. Four dragoons in there, I think. Now... I think the... I don't know whether to keep... The, I don't think I need him. And I think he's going to slow me down anyway. There's n there are no threats along there, are there? I think I'll just... Hmm, don't get, well, I'm going to get rid of him. Um, he's a drag and he's slowing me down. Uh, and I'm going to go into here. Is that the road? Yes, it is. Through there. You can't see it when the green's... Well, I can't see it when the green's on anyway. Um, okay, through to there. And then again, onto here. Oh, it's settled it anyway. Oh, we're going to be more than... Set I think I'm going to end up with too many troops. But then I'll move some others elsewhere as the... Um, uh, that, that, that new research that causes unhappiness bites, you know, as it starts to get worse. Right, okay. What else did I want to do? Um, oh yeah, now Bifas pointed out a building in Armenia, so it must be this one. Uh, is that Armenia? Yeah, that's Armenia. Good. I was thinking of Ankara before, I was looking for it, you know, when he mentioned it, um, and I couldn't find it anywhere, and then it just occurred to me that it's um, over there. But anyway, well, I've got it. Thank you very much for that advice, that's brilliant. Um, it cost me a lot to replenish that one, actually, to be honest. Probably a lot more than, than the income I'm going to get from it, but well, I don't know, it's not such a bad thing. I'll go for that. I think I can afford it this turn. Um, now, I think the other thing I'll do is... Yeah, um, over in Persia, that's the place where it said I had um, two buildings. Is it this one? That's one of them. Uh, what shall I get in there? I'll have two churches. Church school. And then, what's the other one? I'm sure it said there were two. Or maybe I'm thinking of something else, am I? Hmm. Uh... Where is it? Is it that one? Yep. Okay. I'll get church. Oh no, not school. On um, damn, church school. Did I get the right one up there? Let's just double check that. Church school. Yeah. Okay. Ah, paranoia kicking in. Right. Um, that's about it really. Except that I want to gang up on this place up here. This um, uh, I've forgotten what it's called now. Uh, Dagestan. Um. I think what I'll do, in order to gang up on it, is I'll replenish all these troops. Alright, it's him for a start. And there are these. I might as well move those inside there, actually. They're going to become useful, I think. Uh, they're all fully replenished, aren't they? Yes, they are. Right, okay, now these in here... Ah, now, he's on red. What's gone wrong there, then? I thought... I was alright in there. wonder why he's sticking out of there. Um, 
Hmm. Uh, maybe that was um, a practice, was it? Or a trial, something? Or a, just a mistake? I'm not too sure. But anyway, I'm going to put those back in there. Um, and I still not settled it. But it didn't tell me that I was unsettled this turn, did it? So, okay, right, let's um, replenish the troops in here. Not sure I need the... Well, I don't need the Dragoons replenished, do I, really? Um, I'll do them all, anyway. Just to make sure they're all absolutely top-notch. Um, because, like I said... I well, I didn't say, but what I meant to say was that uh, I'm concerned about Dagestan. Um, because it might be hard to settle with it being his capital, so... OK, well, I think that's all I need to do for now. Um, still got plenty of money left in the pot. 1,325. I'm going to hang on to that. I don't think I need to do anything else for now. Uh, I don't, do I? So, nope, OK, let's go for that then. Right. It just sort of spooks me a bit when I thought in advance, and then I think, hmm, hang on, I've still got money to spare. Um, is it because I've got more money than I thought I had? Is it because I wanted to save some money when I was looking at this? I looked at this really a lot earlier today. I, I was going off on a couple of trips today. Um, one was to um, get, uh, I don't know, get, get some pewter tops sorted out for some bandoliers I'm making. Another one was to um, uh, pick up my merchandise for the... Um, Paul, Lave and Greenwood Turners, you know, so I've got all that stuff. Um, what's this called? Another one? Oh, the Ottomans. Well, that's, oh, hang on. I think I'll have them on my side. Yeah. Did I do that before when the Spanish attacked? I think I did. Let's hope I did. Right, now, this is where I could have done with not worrying about Dagestan and getting my troops out. Do you remember when I wanted to get them to that sloop? Um, that would have been really handy now, because I could have sailed them all the way round ferried them by moving other ships to bring them across and then just attack the Ottomans taking a full army over there but I, I just don't want to risk my back door really um, with the Dagestan people. Oh by the way I, I should have mentioned that I have tried to get um, uh, you know some negotiated uh, trade or anything with the people of Dagestan but they're, they're not interested really I, it says friendly, they're on something like a plus 46 but they're not willing to do anything for me or with me anyway so Right, OK, him, he needs to go somewhere where they're not... Cr oh, I know where he needs to go. He needs to come over to here, doesn't he, where he's got all these um, people trying to um, affect my religion. Let's bring him over to here, then. Right, OK, see if we can counteract him a little bit. In fact, I've got another one there. What's he like now? He's on 80-something. I'm going to bring him out of there as well. Yeah, let's bring in the big guns and get this place sorted because he's trying to manipulate my religion over there. Uh, actually, I'd forgotten I got him there. I wonder if I could hit... No. I was thinking he was a spy. He's not a spy, is he? No, I'll leave him there. In fact, I won't leave him there. I'll bring him round here um, because then he's kind of out of the way, isn't he? And him... He get round anyway. He can't move any further, can he? <laughs> Trying to move the town. Right. Okay. Um. Right. Goes round to there as well. Okay. Good. Um. What's this trade gained? Thank you. Trade agreement cancelled. Trade agreement cancelled. Yeah. Okay. No surprise there. Workers on strike. That's a by Jan. They're fine. They're yellow. What was? I don't understand why these people keep getting unhappy and then... Oh, that's the one where it was a minus one. I moved my horse back into there, didn't I? And now I'm fully replenishing the place, all the troops in the place, aren't I? So, OK, workers on strike. Uh, that's why Jan, that's the one I've looked at. Recruitment report. Right, very good. Mesopotamia. Right, now that place should be happy now, shouldn't it? Look at that, it's still only just on yellow. I thought I'd be on plus one now. Thirteen. And they're on ten. They're... Mm, they're still going to go up. I don't, I'm not sure what's going on there. I think it's probably that that college is researching something that's going to take a long time. Uh, so, OK, that's my recruitment report in there. Construction report, all of these down here. I don't know if I should upgrade those churches. I will do. OK, because Azerbaijan isn't happy, is it? So, let's upgrade those churches. Uh, right. OK. Um... Now, 
we've now got the problem... Oh, okay, let's get rid of that first. Technolo technological advances, yep, got those. And then agent recruited. So I'm just flicking over the technological advances, like I said before, because um, I'm just leaving it to its own devices now. The only thing is it's getting things like this. That's the one. That is what's going to give me those minuses when it comes out. But by then, th the place should be settled, shouldn't it? Because it's getting a plus one every turn, so it should be okay. But that is what's going to give it that unhappiness. Okay, next. Um, I'm going to have to recruit in my risky areas. This is my back door now. I've advanced a little too far, haven't I? Um, if I recruit... What have I got in here, anyway? I've got one howitzer. Have I got a howitzer up here as well? No. Okay, well let's get... I don't know really. What shall I get? Uh, I think it depends really on what sort of troops he's got. Um, he's got... Ooh, he's got big mortars. But they've only got a range of 350 those, so I'm not too worried about those. It's this, isn't it? That's his attacking force, isn't it? I would have thought. The other one is defensive. So let's get a couple of guns then. Uh, one, two guns, because they'll outrange him. I know the mortars will as well, but they're slow moving, and um, they don't kill very many, and if he's attacking me, then anyway, that's enough said. Um, I'm going to go for the guns, because they'll outrange him. And they're pretty good as well against any troops that come to attack me as well, like those particularly good burger infantry. Um, right, I think I... well, I know I can recruit more, so let's get a couple more. Let's get these. Over here, I can... Oh, in fact, I might as well bring those out. Those three. Uh, yeah. I think I'm better off going through here, aren't I? Then I should be able to get all the way. Yes, I can. Okay, good. Is that there? <laughs> oh, honestly. Well, I don't think it matters. I've got time before the others get there, haven't I? So, I wonder about... Recruiting more in there. Um, do I recruit more? Let's see what sort of army I've got. I've just brought three infantry over. I've got in here four. Um, seven, plus I'm recruiting another four. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's going to be eleven. Um, this would make it fifteen. I don't want guns, do I? Oh, I can get five in here. So that would be 16. Hmm. Oh, good. And then I can recruit more in here. Another four in here, and that would do it, wouldn't it? So, let's get some horse, then. I think I need horse. Maybe I should get a general. Regiment horse. Uh, general's bodyguard. Is that what I've just got? Oh, great. <laughs> Mistake. Right, two of those. I don't think I've got any horse, have I? One horse. Hmm, do I need two? Yeah, why not? Okay, and then let's get some infantry. One, two, I get three? No, I can only get two. Right, okay. Um, and that fits, doesn't it, with these infantry? Yeah, okay, bring the horse over, bring the general over, because I can't get the general in here, so I think that's about right, don't you? Um, okay, how much have I got left? 4,340. I've got loads to spend, I haven't done any. Right, okay, let's see if we can improve these roads and things over here. Uh, possibly don't need it, but it'll allow me to sort of ferry troops back and forth here more quickly. Okay, so that's that one. And then what's the other one? Azerbaijan? Here? Uh, yep, do that one as well. What have I got left now? 1,342? Do I do anything else? I don't think I do. I'm going to hang on to the rest. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, maybe we can nip over and take Azerbaijan, can't we, when the uh, time comes. Right, okay, I think that's about it. Oh, I hate doing this, I'm always a bit worried. Right, but it does give me an opportunity to drink my tea, doesn't it? So let's go for that. What are we up to now? About 20 minutes. Looks like there might not be a battle on this one. <laughs> Actually, I just had a thought while drinking the tea. A bit like spinach to Popeye, isn't it? Uh, hmm, empowered. The Spanish might attack me up in Venice. Aha. So it could be a battle on the end of this one. 
If they do, I'll beat them there. Well, pretty sure I'll beat them there. It just depends how many attacks I get. If I get Italians and then get sucker punched by the... Um, actually, we have a phrase for it, you know, um, that we use in the, well, in Seal Not Battles that we do. We, um, we call it um, machine gunning. Um, it's when two units get to hit one, so you hit one and then they pull off and then the other one hits them and then the other one hits them. You keep hitting them like that and having a rest in between. Um, so, okay, oh, what have we got here now then? Recruitment report, yep! Uh, oh, hang on. Right, well let's get these in here first. That makes the most sense, doesn't it? Then bring these over five of those. Ah, let's take them through here. And then to here. So they're not going to get in, are they? Looks as though they're going to get there, doesn't it? And then they just don't get there, but anyway. Can he get in? No. Weird, isn't it? Hey? I don't know what I did then. Yes, I do. Okay, five plus eleven, sixteen... If I get another four in here, that then is my full twenty, isn't it? Okay. Romelia. Uh, I think that's it, isn't it? Romelia's over there. That's where I was recruiting them from. Excellent. Um, right. I wonder if I should upgrade that one as well. I'm not sure. I think perhaps not. I'm not going to this time. Might think about it in the future if I've got a, a little bit more money somewhere else, but not for now. Okay, over in Ankara, in here, I'm going to recruit... Hmm, what am I going to recruit? Uh, I'm going to recruit infantry, I think. Uh, Okay, um, I, th I think it's just infantry, isn't it? I, well, I, I can't get anything else, can I, really? So, uh, it's four infantry. One, two, three, four. No more hanging around. And that then gives me my full 20, doesn't it? Okay, problem solved. Um, now, over in... Ah, now, the other thing I wanted to do was see if I can release any of these troops from... Uh, where are we? From over here. I want to get as many out of there as I possibly can. Bring them over to here. It might be worth just untaxing them to bring them across. Oh no! Whew, what with a thousand and odd? It must be jerk. There's no way I'm untaxing that. Wow! I can untax that one and bring them across. That would make more sense. Bring them all across to here and then attack from there, wouldn't it? It would actually, you know. Now I think about it. But I don't think I can bring those troops out of there. I could bring them up to there and then bring these up to there. No, no, no. I'll feed them up to there. It just makes most sense, doesn't it? Because um, this is a backwater for them anyway. They need to be moving more in that direction then uh, over to the sea and then out, you know, when Dagestan's done. So it ju it's just more logical to move them that way, I think. But, okay. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, can I get the light cavalry out? Let's try the light cavalry first. See if they can get out. Uh, over to there. Perhaps through there. So let's bring them out to there first. All good. That's a good start. Um, two regular infantry. They're now fully replenished, which is excellent news. Also out to there. All good. Ha! Huh, things are looking up. Uh, what are, what are the CO? What do we think? Oh, yes! Um... Can I risk one more? What do you think? I don't know. Yeah. yeah! This is better than I thought. I thought this was going to take longer than this to settle. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> That's the straw that broke the donkey's back. Uh, anything else going to go up or down here? No, we're okay. Good, right, well if they stay on yellow, that's good. We'll bring these across to here, into there first, and then across to here. Do you know, I have a feeling... Oh! <laughs> oh, it's another weird one. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I always think they're bizarre, these. Right, ten units in there to fight, what, well, probably about sixteen, but most of them are armed citizenry. I could siege it. Um, there's time. Depends if the Russians want to get involved or not, but I've got mortars, you see, so I could do an overnight on it and <laughs> um, gradually mortar it all away, but I could actually raise dragoons in there, send them back here, and release troops from here, couldn't I? And make sure this place is happy with, you know, with dragoons in there. Hmm, now that's a thought. I hadn't thought about that one before. Now, um, let's have a look over at Persia and see what I can do with those. I've got a lot of troops tied up in here, and it is a bit of a waste. So, let's try a CO. And the guns. Maybe. Um, and the infantry. One, two, three, four. Um, let's see see if that'll do it. I want to leave troops behind of course to defend the place but for now I just want to see if that'll work uh, to there. Yeah! I wonder if it's worth getting another one out. That two chevron one there. They're okay you know. Is this going to get any... it's not going to get any more minuses. I might take more out. Oh no that's done it. <laughs> Let's put that 80 something back in there. 84, wasn't it? Put that one back in. Okay, they're happy. Right, well, let's bring these over then. I might just replenish those as well, actually. Um, okay, so those troops over to here via there. So let's get them going that way then. And sort those out. I don't need guns in there. I don't really need CO in there. These are enough to defend this place, I think. So. Okay, good. Now, ah, what else? I think now I should also recruit in Baghdad here. Do I? I don't want to get. I don't want any more dragoons, do I? Really? I've got an army of these here. I need horse, don't I? Really, rather than dragoons, because um, I'm not going to get any from there, am I? So. Okay, I thought I had a couple of horse somewhere. What happened to them? They were... They were with guns, weren't they? Oh, they're in there. What am I talking about? They're already there. I'm, I'm thinking about them as dragoons. Okay, so I've got two horse in there. I've got a CO. I've got guns. I've got infantry coming up. I really need sort of like a mixture of horse and foot, don't I, really? So if I get, say, three foot and... I can't get a horse anyway. Well, I can't get decent ones. So... Right, okay, decision made. We're going to get infantry instead. Right, okay, those horse are replen... No, they're not. Ah, well, let's do those as well, actually. They're going to be important to me. They're the only horse I've got in there, so... That is going to be important to me. I think that's about it, you know. I think that... Is all I need to know. Just a bit... Oh, where's he going now? Now, that surprised me. I thought he was going to go this way. Oh, dear. Uh, that has caught me out. Damn, why can't any of these get into there? Oh dear, where's he going then with that force? He's, he's got three territories, the Ottomans, you know, so I can't just pounce and, you know, by the sea and take them all off him and destroy his armies. It's more complicated than that. Oh, damn, this is what I mean, you see, about defending borders. I have to defend Persia because it's against the Marathas. I have to defend both these areas here, Georgia and uh, Azerbaijan, was it, down here. Yeah, um, just in case these turn on me, Dagestan. And I've got the Ottomans um, in my uh, right flank here. In addition to that, I've got now the Spanish and the Italians here ganging up on me around there. So I, I've got this as a border as well. I've just got too many borders. I really have. And I need to get armies into these places to, to destroy them. Really. I need to get rid of the Dagestanans, even though they seem fairly friendly, and get rid of the Ottomans as well. And then defend a border like this across here. Much easier to defend. And cut off all that area there. And all of this then will be under my control then. And this is a bit like a... It's a kind of cancer growing, isn't it, in here? This, this Ottoman thing. Damn nuisance, right, okay. I need some, um, what do they call them, antigens, perhaps, or something, I don't know. 
bound to be somebody medical out there that knows that one. Uh, I think in the meantime, have I got my road? No, still two turns away. I'm not going to need them, you know. I'm actually going to be attacking him before I've even got those. Right, okay. Um, do I recruit some... I can't get Dragoons, that's why, isn't it? Damn. Okay. Um... I don't know. Risk it for a biscuit, hey? Just out to there. Yeah, it's red, isn't it? I don't know why I tried it again. It was stupid, wasn't it, really? But Okay, right. I, I think I'll just do one more turn end and see how we go on. Um, uh, yeah, okay. There's no point in looking around, is there? You all know what's going on. So let's just do one more turn end. It's just I've got so much money. 3,481 or 51 or whatever it is. That's a lot of money, isn't it, really, to be spending? And I could be doing something perhaps useful with that. What about this? That's a big farm, isn't it? Maybe I should spend it on that. It's 2,600. It's a heck of a lot of money, that. doesn't give me any minuses, does it? It gives me plus to nobility, and it gives me extra to regional wealth, and it's a pretty good region anyway, isn't it? So maybe that's what I should be going for in Azerbaijan. It's a good region, isn't it? It really is. Uh, Pasha's Palace as well. So I wonder... I'm going to go for it. Why not? Okay. It's just got money want to spend it really it's burning a hole in my pocket as my mother used to say that money's burning a hole in and there you go oh, I'm gonna spend on that one as well <laughs> okay might make the place a little bit happy actually thinking about happiness maybe I should spend that in another place where I'm more likely to get happy church school see that place is oh I could no it's not too happy is it really no I'm not gonna get it there though um, because the Ottomans are they're bearing down on that area, aren't they? What about this? No, not there. This one. Ah, where is it? I found it a moment ago, didn't I? Oh, it's already been done, isn't it? I wonder. Yeah, it's looking like maybe it does have to be that one. Okay, we'll go for that one then. See what happens. Right, turn end. And we're over half an hour, so... Really should be thinking about stopping about now so you know what's going to happen don't you i'm going to do a turn end and somebody's going to attack me and there's going to be an enormous battle somewhere and i'm going to think oh no can i fit it onto this video or not um you never know i'm not sure who i suspect the most possibly the spanish to be honest against Ven yeah you see them mobilizing they didn't do it right no attack from the spanish but the ottomans what are they doing? Are they going to a port there? Well, they are. They're going towards the port. Are they going to mobilise? Uh, well, they have mobilised. What am I talking about? Mobilise means to form an army, doesn't it, really? But um, Or get your army on the move. Um, what I should be talking about, really, was embark. Are they going to embark? Oh, the Russians seem to be coming into my territory. Kiev, that's the Swedes, isn't it? Oh, they're just, they just taking Kiev. What did they have that before? Oh, I'm not sure. Okay, Marathas seem to be preoccupied with someone else. Maybe they've had a rebellion somewhere. Hmm. Okay, maybe, you never know. Maybe they've overstretched themselves. Maybe the rich areas I've taken off them. They're left with the poor ones. They can't manage them. Agent recruited. Right, okay, where's this guy? Is he anywhere near? I've got two in there. They're both mine. I think they are. Right, okay. Um, well, let's get them both over here, making this place happy. Right. Um, this one. Also over there, making that place happy. Right, okay. Hmm. Well, I'll just go through these and then we'll call it a day. So, ah, uh, no, these need to move. So if I put these into here. Come on, get into there. My worry now is that what he's going to do is put them all on a ship and attack me by the sea across there. Is there anybody I've got that can go and have a look at those? I thought... I did have a spy there at one point, you know. But not anymore. Hmm. Okay. Um. I think we'll go for... I don't know where he's gone. He's just come back to here, isn't he, I think? 
Nothing around there. No threats around there. Do I risk it? I think I do. I think I can be... Well, I hope, anyway. I think I can be there quicker, I hope. Hmm. Then he can get on a ship and get round there. Oh, I just hope so. I could have sworn I had spies around there, you know. Uh, I did at one point, you know, and I just don't know where they've gone. OK, right, recruitment report. We know about those. They're the ones that have just moved. Oh, I should have checked the others. Agent recruited. Oh, that. Oh, I was going to say, that might be where the other one is, but it isn't. It's a completely different one. What are we going to do with him? I think what I'm going to do with him is keep him here, actually. So that this place becomes uh, my religion. I I'll just put him on this border here so I can see him. Right, construction report, those two. Um, I don't know, I think... I I'll just sort of bear those in mind for now. Suspicious death. Who was that? One of my missionaries. Alright, oh, okay, that'll be one of those that are in Austria, I would imagine. Um, trait gained. Plus two subterfuge. Thank you. Uh, agent recruited. Yep, now these are ones we do know about. Oh, so maybe there were two recruited at the same time in the same place. So it wasn't just that I'd missed it. So, Right, okay, well I think that's got to be it for now, folks. 36 and a half minutes. And it looks like things are coming under control, doesn't it? It also looks as though it's possible now for me to move to there this turn and then across to there next turn. So, OK, going to get this uploaded. So you should get this on Thursday morning with just a little bit of luck. OK, thanks for watching, folks.